Viewer discretion is advised. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Geeking Out. I'm yours truly, the Day Boss here for another Geeking Out video. And here today, guys, we're going to be talking about the the brand new time suit that's just been freaking released. Uh, they they've they've showed off the head sculpt. They have showed off the new suit for Tony Stark. And also on the and at the same night, they released the Mark eighty five updated head sculpt, which are we gonna go right now and check out and let's see what's going on with it, guys. Like okay, the time suit. Wow, wow. I I gotta say I am I'm I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty happy with what I see right here with the time suit. And, um, so far, and the head sculpt is pretty much Tony Stark. No complaints here. <laughs> it's not Tony Stank. But, yes, it is Tony Stark. And, um, for some reason, um, I was expecting it to be a little bit older. Maybe get some grays in there, possibly. Um, and maybe, maybe in some of the angles we could see it. But, yeah, so far, the suit looks nice. The actual, um, now, here's the thing, though. Um... When Hot Toys did this uh, figure, uh, people were expecting that Hot Toys would go off and do like the army builds uh, scenario because they, they had to create the whole Tony Stark uh, time suit team, you know, with uh, different body suits like the Captain America, um, um, Black Widow, Ant Man, Hawkeye, you know, the whole shebang. And then we were seeing some, uh, we did see the, the time suit Captain America. With his time machine display, which looked nice, I'm not gonna lie, I I would have bought that. I would have bought that. Uh, that would have been a nice little display. But I don't. Uh, but you know how Hot Toys works. They they create certain figures and certain displays just for show at the cons. You know you know how they work. Uh, so far, I am enjoying the head sculpt. I do see some grays in there. Um, this head sculpt is sort of. Similar to the one we have in the Mark 50, just updated features here and there, and the hair as well. And uh, from what I can tell, it looks like this uh, the head sculpt is similar to the one the Mark 85 updated is. So uh, we'll look into that in just a minute. But I'm really enjoying that battle damage uh, Mark, uh, Mark 50 uh, helmet there. Uh, it would have been cool if uh, we can actually put this on the Mark 50. Uh, be, but there is that option where you can have that battle damage helmet for the Mark 50 uh, in the accessory pack, which is overpriced. But yeah, from uh, from a distance and from uh, it's it looks like a good display piece to have in your collection. It it does stand out. That's what I like about it. Um, let's see what else uh, we can find. Now I do like I do like that light up feature in the helmet. The only thing I have an issue with, even if um. You, you try to use this for another character or anything, that's still Tony Stark, right? You still do see Tony Stark. And I was actually thinking of using the actual time suit figure for other characters. They're about the same size. I think uh, Ant-Man is about the same size as Tony Stark. I was thinking possibly using this time suit figure for um, um, Hawkeye as well. There's certain figures that you can run with, certain characters you can run with with the suit. And then I was thinking of just keep bashing another cat and another uh, body for Tony Stark, like I did with the um, damn, what's that one called? I forgot the name of that. Uh, the, the the nano suit. There you go. Not nano jogging suit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of using the uh, actual head sculpt for for other kit bashes like that. But yeah, so far it's the the, the thing is, did we really need it now? If they it comes with that little base for the actual. Um, battle damage helmet, that'd be freaking perfect. I, I would definitely love that. Um, and then, let me see. It, it really is not much to talk about here with this head sculpt. It does look great. Uh, it does, uh, it's fine. My only concern is that the actual suit, uh, well, the actual figure itself, did they make many of these? I don't think people, I, I remember seeing this figure being low in the pre-orders on Sideshow for a good minute. Not many people pre-order this, unfortunately. I, I that's my little concern about it. I don't think we are going to get a lot of these time suit uh, Tony Starks. And then if that's the case, can this become a Grail? 
or it'll sit. Like, uh, it's been weird situations with um, Hot Toys that, you know, don't do well in the market. You know, in the initial market. Like the Mark 47, it sat around, and then it got turned into the damn uh, Super Grail that everybody wanted. You know what I mean? And then we got the, um, the War Machines. Some of them sat around, like the War Machine Mark IV, which may become a good uh, a beast of a grail right now because it is one of those, one of the best War Machines to me, uh, uh, to date, okay? Uh, other than the Mark III Punisher Kit Bash, which that was a really great one. But yeah, I do like this suit, not gonna lie. And it is part of the end game, you know, uh, team, a team of figures. So I would not... As you say, skip on this figure because one, you're still getting a great head sculpt, and you're still getting a great hot toy. Now there are people out there that are saying that it has nothing. This doesn't do nothing for me. You know, it does nothing for my collection, or it does nothing for me in connection wise. And that is true. There's, there's not much they did. Let me uh, go through my phone and cut off the damn. Uh... There you go. Yeah, there's not much you can do with the actual this actual figure, unfortunately. There's there's really not like um, there's no, there was no action scenes with it. Uh, they were just traveling through the to the through the quantum realm with the suit, well the the time suit slash quantum realm suit. But uh, look at that AS do that America AS right there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yes, um, so far I am enjoying it. The only the only thing I have my concerns with is one. The amount of pre-orders that came in, like how many of these are act were actually bought, and also the fact that I don't because of the pop because of lack of popularity for this figure, we not we might not see the rest of the team. I can see people buying two or three of these just to do a Ant Man, to do a uh, Hawkeye. I don't think you can do a Captain America because this one's too short. Like Captain America is a little bit too tall. I don't see them uh, see, see this happening as a Captain America suit, unfortunately. But you can do it for other figures. You can do it for other characters that were in that shot. You know, you could uh, you can do it for now. What would have been real cool is if they did this for the Mark VI War Machine. The Mark VI War Machine. If they had done this paint job, I would have picked that up immediately because I do I do like those colors over the actual damn war machine that we got for endgame i the thing is like i i skipped the war machine from endgame i'm going for the infinity war war machine that's that's the best that's the best looking war machine to date you know that's the that's my favorite out of all the group and so far um i am lacking the suit i might just get one i'm planning just to get one i'm not planning to get multiple of these i know some people are uh, like i said might do like the army build for um a, do an ant man do a um a Hawkeye. It's a, a really all you have to do is just grab the head sculpts and bam, put them in there. And that's that's how I was thinking of using the Ant Man head sculpt once I get it and put it on the time suit. Because uh, the thing is that's the, with that smile, it fits with the time suit Ant Man. Because there's moments in the film where he is wearing the time suit, and he's smiling. You know, so that's perfect. Overall, it's a solid figure, and I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, would I will I um would I recommend picking this up? Well, I, I say keep your eyes on it because this might become might become that grail, that secret grail. And also it's unique. And it's endgame and it's Tony Stark. Usually Iron Man figures or Tony Stark figures usually do well, you know. But yeah, uh, and also the a chance of that head sculpt as well. But yeah, but let's um let's move on to the the, the the most controversial head sculpt of all freaking time of all the damn time like oh my god i just can't freaking believe it people are going mad over this head sculpt i, I think the reason why is because the um it's the it's literally people are saying it's the mark 50 it's literally the mark 50 head sculpt on a mark 47 head sculpt and from here it doesn't look like it it's the the hair is slightly different. It's sort of like the same. Some people are saying that they wish the hair was similar to the one they used for Tony Stank Mark eighty five. Um, I think the hair was perfect for the Mark eighty five Tony Stank, but 
if they had continued with if they had moved that hair towards this one i think it would have been solid but yes uh here it, it is tony stark it is Tony Stark. I see Tony Stark. I see the head sculpt. Now, is it the Mark 50 or Mark 47 reissue? No, it's not. It's, it looks thinner. It doesn't look as uh, thick. And the, the different paint application. It is different. It is different. I am surprised Hot Toys were able to make these type of improvements this, this quickly. You know? And it makes sense because a lot of people were not too happy with this head sculpt. I, for one, I'm not getting the Mark 85, or I was I was not planning to get Mark 85. I'm probably going to get it later down the line after I'm done with the other Iron Mans I need to pick up. Um, but the Mark 85 Iron Man, it's going to stay. It's going to stay in the market for, uh, for a good while, for, you know, for retail. And I'll probably get it for free shipping. The one I'm working on right now is the Mark 85 Battle Damage. And I'm really hoping to see how well that goes for the actual... You know, the head sculpt. And that's the head sculpt I really want because I want that pose. That's the pose I'm going to have the Mark 85 battle damage. Just uh, uh, preparing to snap uh, Thanos' army away. Here, the head sculpt is fine. Um, again, I think it would have been cool if we had gotten a smirk, maybe, with this one. That would have been nice. But when was he smirking? I, I, don't, I, I don't get it. But... Uh, maybe maybe add a little bit more motion. There is there is a motion in here, but it's 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 better. Okay, it's better than what we got with uh, the Mark Fifty. I, I think the Mark Fifty head sculpt uh, it lacks a little bit of motion, but here you you're adding a bit more to it. And it's not the Mark Fifty head sculpt, from what I can tell. It's not the Mark. I was looking at pictures. There's something different about this, and it's not the same damn head sculpt like people are saying. Um, from what I've been told, you can pick this up. Um, uh, I think you gotta register it. If you if you bought it at HK, you gotta register it, uh, I believe. Or I think SciShow will end up sending. If you bought it from SciShow or you know North American companies here, I think you're supposed to get uh, this head sculpt with the your Mark Mark eighty five uh, original head sculpt. Like I think they're supposed to send you a new one. I say just call up SciShow and find out. I don't know. Be I I don't know for sure. But that's what I've been hearing um, uh, through the grapevine that uh, you can either register or you, uh, or uh, wherever you bought it from, find out from them. And I think that's what's going to happen. I think we're going to get a lot. I think uh, Sideshow's going to get a lot of calls today about this damn head sculpt uh, from people that actually bought the Mark 85. Now, my question is, uh, will they be sending out the new batches of Mark 85 with this head sculpt and then say no to the original Mark 85 uh, head sculpt uh, the Tony Stank now if from the looks of it that Tony Stank slash Iron Man set is going to be a grail set because uh, they they probably cut off the batches for that and that Mark 85 helmet is going to be a grail set uh, as far as like selling in the future because it's so limited so controversial um, but now if, if you compare that to the Ant-Man head sculpt the thing is, the Ant Man is Ant Man. You know, the, I I love the actor, I love the character, but he's not Tony Stark. Okay, so literally, people attacked Hot Toys through social media to get this head sculpt fixed. Okay, and people have complained about other head sculpts before, but this one, Hot Toys listened, and they got it done. And um, I am, you know, I I'm proud that um. We got the head sculpt that we wanted. A lot, a lot clear. I this is collect. This is the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted. The Tony Sank one is not really. Uh, it's a good uh, representation of a cosplayer, but this one for me is Tony Stark. I know there's a lot of collectors out there that have already reviewed the head sculpt for Tony Stank, and they say that is Tony Stark. G good on you. More power to you. But for me, it's it's not it's not for me, and I'm happy with this head sculpt. I uh, I'm not too happy how things went down. <laughs> the Hot Toys almost got freaking canceled by social media because of this damn head sculpt. <laughs> but I at the end of the, at the end of the day, I don't think Hot Toys even cares about it. Well, let me let me go let me read it. Let me let me read what they're saying. Okay, so Hot Toys and Studio appreciates the unending support and love from fans. Our passion for the for the fine details, elite workmanship, and artistic excellence will continue to be among core components that transform your favorite characters and stunning collectibles. In December 2020, we had announced the one-time exchange 
on Tony Stark's head sculpt of Avengers Endgame. One six scale Mark 85 collectible figure final product program. For instance, fans who have purchased and received the Endgame one six scale Iron Man Mark 85 collectible uh, Sideshow, uh, from Sideshow Collectibles, Hot Toys Japan, Hong Kong, there will be the details for one time exchange service today. As will individual may return the original Tony Stark's head sculpt. Wow. Return it and get replaced with the updated Tony Stark sculpt in the images presented below. For fans and other reasons, we'll be receiving the product with the updated head sculpt. Please stay tuned for the updated uh, shipment rescheduling. Wow. So you got to <laughs> send your Mark 85 Tony Stank. To get the Tony Stark. Oh, that's wild. Okay, now that's up to you guys. That's up to you, uh, especially collectors who just like the Tony Stank. You're not going to get this head sculpt now. <laughs> Once again, thanks for the continued support and stay tuned for product releases, astonishing Hot Toys Avengers Endgame lineup, Hong Kong, including all this, blah, 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 blah. So, wow. That's wild. So let's go to the God. Let's see. There's one right here. The proto still looks better and you just recycled time trying to suit head. Thanks for not listening. <laughs> It is. It is. Oh my God, that's funny. Oh my God, that's that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, from the from the looks of it, it is similar to the time suit uh, head sculpt, which makes sense. He he literally, like, what are you gonna do? It's literally the same character in the same movie. There's no time difference with that figure. They, they, they maybe a few days. From what happened with the time suit or a time heist compared to the Markety Five battle, come on, what can you do? Like literally, what can you do? But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the Mark Eighty Five um, a head sculpt and the time suit um, Tony Stark. Uh, so far, I am getting the Mark Eighty Five battle damage. I'm gonna get the Mark Eighty Five later down the line. Because uh, I would like to pose that one up with my rescue when that pops up. And so far, um, our next on our list to be released at the moment is, whatchamacallit, um, the quarter skill Spider-Man, which was pushed back um, or delayed. I, I don't know what's happening with that figure, but I'm surprised they're even doing a quarter scale Spider-Man. Um at the moment from the homecoming i think they probably will hey, well that is the original suit his original first film so i understand they want to keep that trend because they did that with the mark three the mark four and did they mark the three i know they did a mark four yeah they did it for the mark four um at the moment like i said i am going to um be purchasing the time suit because it's it's, it's, it's an end game figure for the end game display uh you don't have to pick that up um, because at the end of the day, it didn't do nothing. There's no connection to a lot of collectors. It didn't have no collect connection to me, but I, I would like to use the suit for other characters. And, um, hopefully if it's still around, I might pick up another one just so I could use the other, uh, head sculpts for it. Like, um, um, what's his name? Um, Hawkeye. I use Hawkeye's head sculpt for that one and then use Ant-Man head sculpt for that one. And then use the Tony Stark uh, head sculpt on another character. But I, for now, I'll probably use the, just the helmeted look for... Or not even. I, I, well, we'll see. I, either the helmeted look or wh whatever I feel like. I think I'm probably going to stick with the Tony Stark head sculpt. But guys, let me know down in the comments in, down below about how you feel about the Tony Stark head sculpts. Did they do their job? Did Hot Toys make the dream happen again? Did they... Did they succeed? Did they deliver on the brand new updated head sculpt for the Mark 85? Um, at the moment, people are half and half with it. People are complaining that it's too similar to the Mark 50. And I look at the Mark 50 in front of me when I when I had it in hand. And I looked at the picture. It's not the same head sculpt. It's different. Now, it's similar to the one that we got with the time suit. Yes, I do agree on that. Uh, people that uh, do uh, are saying that it's similar to the time suit. It's borrowed from the time suit. The thing is, it's the same damn movie. Like, there's no time difference. Uh, whatever happened with with Tony Stark's uh, head sculpt there, you know what I mean? Like, there was no like, um, oh yeah, this head sculpt happened during the five years before the event. You know what I mean? But anyway, guys, um, that's all I have for today. Uh, we got a few other videos coming out uh, pretty soon as well uh, for next week, and also uh, this week we are live streaming at Aries uh, Siskel Cantina. 
um, at 6 p.m. Eastern, I believe. So it should be a lot of fun than 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we've had Aries here uh, uh, quite a lot with uh, Dante. Uh, I'm doing been doing a lot more live streams. So uh, it's been a lot of fun just talking about Hot Toys. And, and things are changing up every day with that company with more releases or more previews. Uh, I, I definitely am excited. I can't wait to, uh, you know, do more. But anyway, guys, uh, but anyway, guys, um, have a great weekend and pretty, and, 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 and as always, uh, may the good times be with you. Hasta the freaking vista.